I hope it will run through. Gosh, I hope my internet is super duper. Great, great. I'm here with Kamano Kiare of Kiringo Organic Farm. Organic Farm. So this is one of our old OGs, you know, like the famous um, super, super farmer who loves organic. Organic means everything to him. Organic so, for life. Yeah, organic for life. Mm -hmm. So Kamano, for the, I, I'm sure a lot of people in this space know you, yeah. uh, but it's good for the ones that don't know you. Just tell them who you are, when your journey in organic farming started. I'm Kerry Kamano. Uh, my farm is Kiringa Organic Farm. Uh, I'm in Kikuyu, the water. And uh, I started organic farming way long time ago, 1975, when I was in the university. And when I went to work, I was working 50% as an engineer, 50% as a, a farmer. Organic started 1993. Until now, I'm still in organic. I am organic for life. Cool, Kamano. So, uh, what, what excites you about organic farming? Why is it that you, you've you just decided to bury yourself into this sort of farming and not opting or going for conventional farming? Oh, yeah. Organic is life. And uh, I've never had a disease. I'm bad. My kids are strong. My mother was over 100, shillings, uh, over 100 years when she died. And she was doing what she told me best. Grow, uh, eat safe, grow healthy. Very good, Kamano. So in your farm, what are some of the things that uh, you specialize in? What are some of those things that you grow? I, have, uh, I, had, I had an objective in year 2005. I wanted to grow a broccoli, which was about two and a half kilos. I wanted to do a cauliflower, four kilos, but they had to be organic without fertilizers or chemicals or hormones. And CDSRA, that was my objective, and I've been growing broccoli since that time. And today I'm having very many broccoli because some have done it in 40 days, others in 55 days. The normal time is 75 days. And I talk with my sweat all the time. And I do minimum tillage, so I have to be in the farm all the time to check on any surrounding item. And when you talk to your soil, give it what it wants, it will give you back. Just like the way we say, give food, go, give good grass to a cow, it will bring back the milk to you. Brilliant, Kamano. So how big is your farm? Where is your farm located? And what are some, beyond the broccoli and cauliflower that you're really known for, what are some of the things that, I mean, one would find in your farm? Okay, uh, that's a good background. I have about uh, three acres, all fully irrigated. Get my water from the water spring, Kikuyu Springs. I also have water from, from the background here. And I have uh, springs from Nairobi River. And uh, even the background, you can see the background, I have a lot of bananas. What behind, on top of me are uh, avocados, which I uh, have about 10, 11 different types of avocados. I grew a lot of spinach, a lot of skooma. I, I grow traditional food like uh, spaghetti, uh, kansila, managu, nightshade, uh, terere or amarath. I'm now, for the last five years, I've been the only, one of the major suppliers of American sweet potato, orange fresh. Beautiful. Come on, uh, maybe it's important you can tell people, I mean, like, Beyond growing, uh, what are some of the foods that you enjoy eating, like here at home? I, I think what I've just eaten, I enjoy eating my banana, which is almost being beaten 50% by the birds. I eat the rest. I eat sweet potatoes, which is eaten about 20% by the moles. I eat 70%. And the avocado you've just eaten, as the, the way it is, I just let it to fall down. Even if it cracks, I know it is ready. And I enjoy it. Brilliant, Kamano. So, uh, people, people, Kamano is one one of our super, super great, amazing farmers. He's usually at the organic farmer's market. I mean, he's been selling there for many, many years. So, you can always find him at the market. So, Kamano, um, when we talk about organic, what, how, how can you explain it in the simplest way possible? Grow without pesticides, fungicides, or herbicides. Grow it using what is readily available from your farm. All 
your neighbors and and more and more shit. Mine is uh, all around. I have birds, I have pigs, I have cows, I have hens, and I give them my vegetables, and they give me the compost, and we go a rotation, almost hundred percent rotation. I use about ninety percent of my compost is from the farm. Great. So it it really sounds exciting, you know, uh, the whole thing. But I'm sure there are challenges when it comes to this sort of farming. What what what, what are some of those things that you have to deal with? Uh, there are very many challenges. Like when my neighbors have uh, problems with uh, inse- insects, they literally come to my farm. And when the moles transcend, they transcend from farm to farm. And moles like my vegetables. And these are the major items. I, I would say I don't have a problem with insects and pesticides because I'm able to control. I do I do what we call uh, pest management systems. That is, I try to reduce the interference by having over 40 different types of produce in the farm. And that way I've been able to overcome most of my pests. Great. So, Kamano, as we try wind up this you know i know uh there's quite a lot of uh, produce in your farm uh and i know you will definitely definitely be at the market this saturday i know you'd really want to spoil some of our shoppers um wh- what are some of the things that people should look for at your stand this coming weekend uh, in 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 terms of deals i'm actually doing a deal for broccoli i did my broccoli which came out at 40 40 days 50 days and 60 days and I have a lot of it I'm, I want to do a deal with you people if I can give you three bo- big brokers for 200 shillings or 70 shillings for piece, I'll be high and dry I want to give you one of the best, best spinach which you can do a deal three for 100 rather than 50 shillings and my spinach you can eat it raw you can juice it you can stir fry it you can use it as a, as a stew for anything. But I also have the skooma, I uh, have cabbages. I think I can deal, do a deal the best there is in the market. Very good. The same case with my avocado. I hope I will not, you people will not be hit by one when you, when you are still doing it on this. Because avocados are just falling down. And I eat, I eat them when they are down. I don't, I don't grab the tree to get them. Brilliant, Kamano. So definitely you need to check out uh, Kamano's stand this coming weekend. Check out his lovely, lovely broccoli, uh, cauliflower. Uh, do you have cla- cauliflower? No. Yeah, I do have few. Yeah, cauliflower a few, but broccoli is in plenty. I mean, you've, you've got to get a couple of heads for yourself and your family. There are also other things like carrots that you can find at his uh, station. Um, yummy bananas, you know, um, American sweet potato avocados, and just check out for whatever surprises in his stand. Including traditional vegetables. I'll be having managu, sage tea, kansila. I think welcome. Thank you. And see you all people at the Soko this coming Saturday. They can also book. Oh yes, importantly. You can pre-book. How can these people order from you directly? Actually, they can ring me up or send a message through 0729-969-354. 0729-969-354. Guys, let me tell you, one, one sure way to supporting farmers that are doing great work is simply showing up or just buying directly from them. That's the best way, and that's the best thing you can do to your family, getting good, clean food to your kitchen and to your table. And enjoying it at the same time. Lovely, lovely. Thank you, Kamano. Thank, thank you. you, thank you. Welcome. And end.